happen? Just happen to happen in malls all across the country? Mm-hmm. Uh, Fox News Radio's Evan Brown is uh, on the line with us right now to talk more about sort of this rash of uh, violence we saw over the weekend. Evan, how are you? I'm uh, well. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, Chicago lost, what, uh, 12 residents this weekend? Was that the final death toll? I, I believe the, the number of, of homicides over the weekend due to shootings were 12. Uh, I think there were 27 different shooting incidents in the city throughout the weekend, but 12 people did lose their lives. It's, uh, uh, it just adds to the number of, of incidents that they have been plagued with in Chicago. Um, you're getting close to 3,500 incidents for the year. Uh, and uh, almost, uh, I think now in excess of 750 homicides. That number is uh, for the course of you know for the for 2016. Yeah, that, that uh, and, and that's really double what they had last year. Well, it's staggering. It's staggering. I know they've got a new police chief up there. Um, you know, I heard him blame it on basically gang violence. Well, I think that's what most of most of this is always blamed on, and 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 there is a great degree a degree of truth to that. This is not. Uh, Domestic violence or or uh, terrorism or, or anything that we you know we we uh, would otherwise uh, attribute this to, uh, it is gang instances. It is violence. It is street violence that is really plaguing uh, Chicago, and it, it's uh, it, it's been a ridiculous uh, number of deaths uh, uh, that are, are attributed to it. I mean, when you have 750 people within the course of a year, uh, and the year is not over, as they keep telling us. Um, you know, it's really a, a just spellbinding. Yeah, it it really is. Um, and uh, you know, I know that they're not connected, but across the country, uh, they had uh, problems in North Carolina as well. Correct? Uh, there was a, a couple of instances in North Carolina. There was a shooting. Uh, the, I think the one that's probably getting the most attention is a shooting at a party uh, in uh, the town of Madison, which is right outside Greensboro. North Carolina. Seven people were shot. Uh, nobody lost their lives. Uh, but it turned out to be, again, some kind of beef. Someone was angry at someone else, and they came back with uh, uh, friends that had guns, <laughs> excuse me, and they shot people. They started shooting, and they, they drove off. Police, I believe, were still trying to track down uh, uh, those instigators. And so, uh, you know, you have to wonder. You know, there are people who will say, well, we have a gun problem, we have a violence problem, and then there are the people who say, well, it, it, it doesn't really matter that it's guns, it's just a violence problem. Right. Uh, yeah. We have issues where uh, we have run amok uh, on the streets of gang uh, uh, gang mentality, and then we have instances of people settling their, their disagreements with deadly force as opposed to, well, trying to talk it out or ignoring the other person or, or you know, seeking other some kind of, of, of peaceful or you know, non-confrontational re- resolution uh, instead of grabbing a gun. So, uh, you, you know, who, who knows really how this stops, but uh, it's, it seems as if uh, it keeps happening. And uh, when we put it out there in the news and it happens on a holiday weekend, for instance, it just comes, it has that effect of being much worse. Yeah, m- makes you dread what may be coming up for New Year's Eve. I, I hope there's not a repeat, that's for sure. Um, Fox News Radio's Evan Brown, have a great afternoon. Uh, you too. Yep. Thank you very much for the conversation. I appreciate that. I wanted to update people on what happened up there. 53 shootings uh, in the course of a weekend with 11 or 12 people dead. Wow. Wow.